listen, man, like I'm, I'm so bored of this Kai Havertz conversation. And the reason I'm bored of it is because so much of the nonsense that's peddled around about Kai Havertz is just not true. It's just not true. This idea that Kai Havertz has come in and ruined Arsenal is not true. This idea that Kai Havertz um, coming in is the sole reason that Arsenal can't buy anybody in this January window is a nonsense. Like, Arsenal have been spending, spending, spending for a number of years and are in the position now where they have to be careful because of the profit and sustainability rules. Um, because of the strategy that they've adopted and the overhaul that was required at the football club. Um, and that goes back five or six years, man. Like maybe not quite five or six, but it goes back three, four years at the very least. This idea that that sole transfer has been the problem for us is a nonsense. You know, we could have done a deal with someone where, you know, we... Uh, you know, agreed to pay some money a little bit later down the line to the value of what we signed David Raya for. But everybody wants to talk about Kai Havertz. You know, why don't we talk about Fabio Vieira, who cost 35 million and hasn't really had an impact at Arsenal yet? Why don't we talk about the 20 million pounds that we spent on um, Sambi Laconga? Why don't we talk about the eight to 10 million pounds that we spent on Nuno Tavares? Like this, this constant you know, want to go at Kai Havertz. It drives me up the wall because it's so inaccurate and it's such a weak argument. Like, and it's, it's a classic case of people picking up the headlines and thinking that that must be the gospel truth without actually delving into the situation and understanding the background. I'm sorry, Andy, like I'm not meaning to go off on you specifically, but I'm, I'm sick and tired of hearing this Kai Havertz stuff. Like it's over and over and over and over again. We talked about it on the show that we did the other night where we had a couple of you guys join us as well live in the chat. It was, oh, we don't need Kai Havertz. Sorry, who would have played at left centre midfield this season if we didn't have Kai Havertz? Emil Smith-Rowe, who's never fit and has just about got himself back to fitness now, but probably still, even at this stage, doesn't have more than 20, 30 minutes in the tank. Fabio Vieira, who's been out since November. Leandro Trossard, who looks lost every time he plays there. Who would have been... Arsenal's left centre midfielder. So this idea that Kai Havertz was a complete waste of money and is the sole reason that Arsenal can't go out and sign anyone is so far off the mark, it drives me crazy. It really does. Now, you can have a debate about the signing, generally speaking. You can have a debate around whether we should have got maybe a more specialist left-sided central midfielder. You can have a debate around whether we overpaid. For the record, I think we did. But this notion that he's the only reason and the only reason um, that we are in this financial situation or that we're sailing close to the wind when it comes uh, to financial fair play, it's, it, it's, it, it's such a lazy narrative. It really, really is.